Okay, welcome to the first module of this tutorial. First, we will learn how to write our first specification. We will look at variable declarations, assumptions and guarantees. And the example that we're going to follow is these two examples. One is a traffic light example and the other one is a grid world with a robot moving between grids. But first we have to see how to create our first spectra project. We can uh, simply right click and say new other and then select under other spectra project. So this is how we would get a whole new spectra project. Let's call it uh, first project and finish. Now we have this first project and it already has a first specification. The specifications they always start with spec and then the name of the specification and then we can have for example variable declarations and guarantees and assumptions. So let's create a new specification. We can do that in any Spectra project. So let's create one here and now we will create a new other just the Spectra file because we already have a project and uh, we can call it maybe traffic L1 because that is the one we want to um, yeah, create. This is our first example. So here we're going to model this traffic light system. There are basically two lanes A and B and we have two traffic lights. So let's say we want to model two variables. One that tells us whether the traffic light is green on this lane A and the other one that tells us whether it's green on the lane B. So these are variables that we would usually say are system controlled because we want the system to control the traffic light and then there's also the environment. The environment in this example would control the cars that are driving here. Mm, let's delete these guarantees first, the, the simple one. And now let's say we wanted a system controlled variable. This is the one where we want to synthesize the control for. So we will start it with sys for system. Then the type, the data type here is simply boolean. And then we can say green A. This is the variable that tells us that on the A road, um, the traffic light is green. And then we have the one that tells us on the B road whether it's green. Now. This is for simple variables. We also can have environment variables. These are the ones that the system usually senses or something that happens outside the system that the system is then notified of. So here we would say maybe an environment variable also of type boolean can tell us whether there is a car in the street A or in lane A. And then we might also have one for lane B. And then, of course, we want to maybe relate these inputs, these environment controlled variables with the outputs, these system controlled variables, because, well, clearly, if it's a traffic light, there's probably some relation between whether there are cars and um, whether the light will be green. Now, the obligation of the system, we usually describe it in or we always describe it in guarantees. And in Spectra guarantees, we would have the keyword gar and then the guarantees can have different types depending on their temporal meaning. So we could have guarantees that only have to hold in the initial state. So this would be guarantee, ini. Um, and then let's say maybe we want to have green A. Uh, we want to have both turned off, both lights not green, so not green A and not green B in the initial state. Then later we might want other guarantees. So for example, we would like the guarantee that always, so this would be now a safety guarantee, something that has to hold in every state whatsoever, always um, we basically don't want green A and green B to happen to occur together. The the lights should never be green at the same time. So we negate that A and B are both green at the same time. 
Um, then we might also want some some further guarantees that there is actually something happening in the system, some liveness guarantees. So this guarantee could be uh, always, eventually, we want the maybe green A to be true. So after some finite amount of time, always we need to we want to see that the left lane has a green light. So these are the three kinds of temporal operators that we have in Spectra. The INI, the ALWAYS and the ALWAYS eventually. And they always have to start a guarantee or assumption. So what we wrote here for guarantees, we can do the same for assumptions and then it would be ASM for assumption. And now let's see what is a good assumption. I mean, we, we can do very, very similar assumptions here that initially there is no car or maybe that initially there is a car. So let, let's say maybe initially there is a car at A and not a car at B. So this is yeah quite arbitrary and maybe not a good assumption, but this is how these assumptions would work. And we can also have, similarly as we could have for the guarantees, the three temporal operators, we can have those same operators for assumptions. And then always write, also write safety assumptions and also write um, these liveness assumptions. Okay, so this would be our first example of the traffic light. And we saw that all the data types, they were just Boolean, so we can do a bit better. In Spectra we also have other kinds of data types. Let's create a second specification um, in this same project. So this would we would call it the grid L1. And here we want to model this this grid world of the robot. So um, yeah, well here it's a simple 5x5 five five grid, so with booleans doesn't make much sense. We could of course have one boolean for every cell. That probably wouldn't be a good idea because the robot can only... We, we want to model a robot and we want to model a robot position. So let's say we have a um, system variable or maybe an environment variable. And the environment will tell us where the robot currently is. And now we want to represent the position in x and y coordinates. So we would need an integer that goes from 0 to 4. So then we have these five cells and we can call it uh, yeah, maybe just robot x. And then we can have a similar one for robot y. And then we might have uh, also some system where that wants to move the robot. So we would then have a system output uh, variable. And now this one can have maybe an enumeration data type. So the robot could maybe move up or down or left or right, or it could just uh, stay in place and this is the variable system variable move so here we see bounded integers and also enumerations and then the way that we would use these is that maybe in in an assumption in an initial assumption we say that the robot x is zero and also the robot y is zero so yeah, this would mean something like that the robot is initially in this corner here. And then we can also, of course, relate them. We might want to have uh, an assumption that says always when the robot uh, says it wants to move up, um, this would be move equals up. This would imply, so we can write implies like this, or we can also write 
in place if we want to type a lot. Um, move up, this would mean, well, if we say top left is 0, 0, then moving up would basically uh, decrease the y coordinate. So this means the next y coordinate would equal robot y um, minus 1. So every variable that is in the context of next would be in the next state already. So we basically say here that the variable in the next state is y reduced by, is the current state variable reduced by 1. And this next operator, this can be used in the safety assumptions and safety guarantees. It is important that we can not talk about uh, the next value of a system variable in a in an assumption because this would be this would mean the environment would have to look into the future and that's not possible so here we can but here we are only talking about the next environment variable and while well, the environment of course has control over its variables so this is fine so this would be an update of the robot coordinate based on the move that the system wants to do. Um, and we would probably need very similar ones for the other kind of moves to make sure the robot moves correctly to have our um, yeah, assumptions that the robot when it moves that the environment will make sure that the robot ends up in the right grid cell. Okay, this is a very simple um, overview, very short overview of the different kinds of variable types and how to use these variables, how to use the different types of Boolean, bounded integers and enumerations. And now there is a task for you. So please go ahead and extend the specification grid L1 that we just created with the following guarantee, which says when the robot is at the end of the grid, it does not try to move outside. And then also in the next step, try to extend the specification of the traffic light with the following assumption that always eventually traffic will arrive at each light.